Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me, Desiree, and it is time for another planty video. So, today I wanna share three plants that I'm a sucker for. These are plants, if I see them in the store, I will beeline right for them. I own multiples of these because they're so gorgeous. One of them is one type of plant that I will, I've, I've bought it three times already. Another one I have twice. And the other one is a variety of plants. I want to own like as many as I can find. So the first one, oh, this one just steals my heart. It is this, the Scandapsis Pictus Exotica. Tell me a more beautiful plant. Tell me. It's this. This is the most beautiful plant I've ever seen. But I'm going to say that about each of these plants, though. They're all the most beautiful plant I've ever seen. But these leaves, I can't believe exist in real life. This is like a thick kind of leaf. It almost feels like it's made of fabric. Like, it literally looks like a fake plant. And I can't believe it grows like this in nature. It's this beautiful green with this really beautiful silvery shimmer type of leaf. I don't know if the light is really going to capture just how beautiful and how silvery shimmery these leaves are. No, it's not going to. It's fine. You know how beautiful they are. So this is a plant I had never seen in real life before. I bought it online from Plant Arena in an order in which I had purchased multiple plants and it arrived, of course, jacked up. But anyway, in that same week that I placed the order for that very expensive plant, I found this hanging basket at the grocery store for $12. Maybe I'll do a comparing three Scandapsis Pictus Exoticas because I have three of them now. Um, and then I recently bought this one at a local nursery for $10. Look at it, it's so beautiful. I saw on their Instagram that they got some of these in and I went right away after work, bought one, had to have it, and it's just so cute. But this type of plant, the reason I'm a sucker for it is because I've never seen anything like this in my whole life. I can't believe this exists in real life. I never see it where I live. This is the only one I ever saw of this. Like I go to that grocery store all the time. They always get nice plants, but never another one of these. Uh, same with this one, the local nursery I went to. This is the only the first time I've ever seen these there. And I go all the time. Anyway, um, I love this plant so much. I wanna say every time I see it, I'm going to buy it. I just think it's an absolute stunner of a plant. And I do own three of them now. Look at, I can't, I don't even want to put it down. This is one that I check on every single day because for me personally, the care for this one and what the plant seems to like is to be a dried out. It likes to be on the dry side. The leaves I think are where it stores a lot of water, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like leaves like this that are really thick um, and almost succulent like hold on to some water. So I wait till the leaf doesn't feel as hard as it once did, where it's a little bit soft, maybe even the leaves are curling a little bit, then I give it some water, like completely soak it, uh, bottom water it, you know, I'll leave it there all day even. Just completely drench it. And then it's perfectly fine for like another month. This plant is so easy care, um, very, very slow grower, but I don't mind it because it is absolutely gorgeous. Another plant that I'm a complete sucker for, and I've also only seen this one time all year, even though this tends to be a common, a, a plant that people say is common, is the other type of Scandapsis. This is the, or another type, Scandapsis pictus argyris or argurius. I did buy this plant in this big um, hanging basket. It was $12.99. I got the sticker right here from the grocery store. Got this at Kroger, if you're wondering. This one is a really fast grower in comparison to the Exotica. This one grows so quickly. Like it has grown all of these vines that I actually ended up putting back up here because it's hanging on a shelf there and I don't want the cat to like nibble on it. Let me see if I could untangle these really quickly so you could see how long they are. Um, it does have periods like this though where no leaf grows and just a big long stem, but I don't mind it. I think it's really nice. But yeah, this plant grows these really long vines. And when I saw this plant, it absolutely took my breath away. I couldn't believe how big it was and how beautiful. The leaves are kind of the same design where they're really green with this beautiful silver shimmer on them. Obviously a lot smaller of a leaf in comparison to the Exotica, but nonetheless just as gorgeous and a lot faster of a grower in my opinion. So 
I bought this plant, brought it home. I'm crazy about it. I went the very next day to the same store, different location, just hoping they had the same de delivery of plants. And they did, and I bought another one. I'll insert a little clip of it here. I have it in the living room or in our front room. And then this one here I have in this room in here. Um, these ones I feel like they do pretty well in like low-ish light. I mean, they're still in nice light, but it doesn't need like super bright indirect light. I think it just grows exactly the same no matter the lighting I give it. But this one, if I see another one, I would probably buy it. I want one of these in every single room. It's just so beautiful. I just love it. So the next plant that I'm a sucker for are Syngonium. Okay, so the first one I ever purchased was actually this one right here. So I don't know if it's Syngoniums or Syngonium, but I feel like it's Syngonium sounds better, plural. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, this is what the plant looks like. It has this beautiful arrowhead shape to the leaves, and it's so gorgeous. There are so many different varieties of this. I own six. Six? I have seven plants, but two of them I think are the same kind. Like this one here, I think is called White Butterfly. It's just absolutely gorgeous. But this type of plant, like this is the first one I ever purchased, took me forever to learn the care for. Uh, I didn't realize the lighting it needed, the water it needed, anything like that, the temperature. It was always dying, leaves were always falling off, turning brown and crispy. But then once I got the care down, I fell in love with them because this plant, honestly, I had thrown outside just to die. And then I realized, wait, I think it wants more light. I think it wants more like heat. Like it liked being outside all summer um, and it likes more water than I think. But once I got that down, I fell in love. So yeah, this plant, beautiful. Uh, it had a ton of different varieties. This one, like I said, I think it's white butterfly. This one here is the pink one. I purchased this one from Plantarina. It's not my favorite. Uh, when it arrived, all of the leaves are rolled up. And when I say all of the leaves, I mean pretty, I would say 80 to 90% of the plant was rolled up like they were brand new leaves or something. Um, they never unfurled, never unfurled. And I'm not exaggerating. About a couple weeks ago, I just went in and like unrolled all of them. And they kind of just look like this now where they're kind of, kind of rolled up and kind of open. Like this one here, they, they just, the plant just isn't doing that well. Some of the leaves, you know, came out nice, but for the most part, this one is one of my absolute least favorites just because of the condition it arrived in. I don't really like the way it's growing. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is the pink one. It's okay. Uh, this one I think is another white butterfly. This is one I can't believe how much it grew. This plant was not this big before this summer. Oh, like there's a yellowing leaf right here. So. I put this plant outside in a north facing porch so it never got any direct sunlight but lots of nice bright light all day and it freaking loved it. Of course I had to water it a lot because it was really hot during the summer and it was drying out all the time but it grew this big old vine like it never had all this hanging stuff here and this plant another one I think is white butterfly just absolute gorgeousness. So leaves do die off like this but there's always tons of leaves growing in. This plant is constantly growing, but then also leaves are always dying, but it's always big and full. It just seems to always regenerate just fine. Uh, this plant, I love it so much, so pretty. Um, and like I said, there's tons of varieties. So whenever I go to Home Depot or Lowe's, I check them out to see like, do I have that one? Do I have that one? This one here, I really don't know what this one's called. I know they're just Syngonium Potophyllum and they each have like a different type of name. This one is, I don't know, this really pretty dark green, almost brown color. I got this one at Kroger not too long ago and I love it, so beautiful. Ooh, nope, not right there. The other one I have is this one I recently purchased from Steve's Leaves. I did an unboxing where I showed myself opening this one. Uh, this one has grown since I've got it. It's just been thriving away. Um, I have it. I have all of these syngoniums in on one table, all grouped together on the bottom shelf, and they. I feel like they just love being grouped together because all of them are doing really well, except that pink one. I just don't like him. Anyway, this one's doing very well, but this one is just a green reverted one. Like it might have been some sort of. Uh, variegated version at one time, but I love just the perfect greenness on here. I love how tall it is. 
I actually like the aerial roots now. In my unboxing, I said I was gonna cut them off, but I kind of like how wild it looks. It looks like I found it outside or something like growing really wild. Um, this one here I think is called Berry Illusion because it just has like lightly pink veining. I don't know if you can see where it's kind of a berry color. But this one, as you can see, these plants do like light and they will stretch like this to find the light source. So I always just rotate them and then it'll eventually bend this way and then I turn it a little more and it bends that way. I'm always rotating them on the little shelf that they're on. Um, but of course where they're at right now, they're not gonna get the most bright light, you know, it is getting darker a lot sooner now. Um, but they're doing just fine. They're still growing and living life. I just kind of rotate them so they don't get too bent that way. But one thing about these plants is they'll easily bend the other way. Like they're not gonna grow that way and then stay that way forever. And then the last one I have here is the Neon Illusion. Another one, look at this one. Also trying to bend towards the light source. But with these plants, it's kind of hard unless it's outside, like this one here, this big giant one that I showed you that was outside. Um, they're not really gonna get perfectly even light unless they're outside. So that's why I always rotate them because they'll start growing like this, which is fine. You know, just turn it, it'll be fine. And this one's called Neon Illusion because you can see it's just a little brighter neon type of greeny yellow color. Another one that's super just living life, loving life. So the care for these, uh, what I find is working for me and what has worked for me for a long time, it keeps the leaves from turning super brown and crispy. Um, give them, a, you know, a decent light. I have mine in the north facing living room and they seem to be just fine except, you know, they want more light than they're getting. Um, but as far as watering goes, I let them dry out completely and then I also let the leaves slightly splay out. So they'll get kind of loose and a little bit limp and then I completely drench it in water. I know some people don't like to do that. They, they feel like you shouldn't wait till the plant is limp. But in my experience, all these plants are thriving perfectly with that kind of care. I found when I tried to keep up with the watering and keep them evenly moist, the leaves would turn very crispy and brown. So I think I was overwatering them. That's how I have taken care of these and I am a sucker for them. If there's a new one, I want it. Let me have all the syngonium. I think the ones I want now are like the variegated ones with the white and the green. So pretty. All right, the third plant I am an absolute sucker for, Maranta. Okay, so I only have three of these, three different varieties, but I think they're one of, another one that I can't believe it grows in nature like this. It's so strange. So this is the green one. Uh, I bought this one at Home Depot. This is one that I saw there. I didn't get it because I had just bought a plant the day before and I was like, I can't buy a plant every day. You know what I did? I got up early the next day and went before work and got it. I just, I had to have it. It also had a ton of flowers on it and it was really cute. But this is what he looks like. Oh, I love it. Look at this perfect picture. So beautiful. The leaves are green. This one has these little ones, little spots here. I think they call this rabbit tracks, the Maranta rabbit tracks, but it's just a green Maranta. Just so beautiful. I love how big it is. I love how long the stems are with the leaves. I like how just crazy it looks. Um, such a beautiful plant. Anytime I see it, I already have one of each of these but I see them again and I want to buy it again because it's just such a beautiful looking plant. Um, and then this is the red one. This one here. It's a big, this is a very big plant too. It takes up a lot of space. I have two of these on a bottom shelf there, which I think I want to move them because as I'm going to show you on this other one, my cat loves this plant. Oh, look right here. My cat has gotten a hold of this one. Even though this looks like it would be poisonous, this one is uh, safe for your animals. I mean, your plants, your animals probably shouldn't be eating your plants anyway, but it's not going to make them sick or anything. Uh, but yeah, this one, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, how does that grow in nature? How is that growing? It's so insane to me. This is also a very fast growing plant. It's always putting out new leaves like this. Like here's another one right here. This one always flowers as well. Uh, leaves do die off like this one here. He's getting a little crispy. I find that if I wait too long to water it, this is one I check almost every day just to see if it's wet. Um, I don't let this one dry out all the way because if I, I feel like it, when I wait too long, it will start getting crispy on the edges. It likes to be evenly moist, um, at least in my experience. But look how beautiful, so gorgeous. And then the other one I have here, this is actually the first one that I bought. 
I saw this at the local nursery that I go to all the time. My heart, I, I was like, oh my goodness, what is that? So, but what I do now before I buy a plant is I look up the care to see how difficult it's gonna be. Does it need too high of humidity? You know, I want to take care of the plants and give them an environment in which they're gonna thrive, but I'm not like, I'm not gonna go crazy. So I looked up the care and they were like, you need way high humidity. Uh, so I didn't buy it and I regretted it every day. I'm not joking you. I went every single week when I would see that they got a delivery. Never had one. I asked the workers, have you guys seen those green marantas? And no, they never got them. And then one day they did and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get the biggest and most beautiful one. This plant, I mean, look at this. Look at this plant. Can you believe this grows in nature like what is this? I cannot believe this plant exists. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, my cat also loves this plant. Look at this poor leaf. So I think I want to move them, but I put these there specifically because they were safe. I didn't want to put other plants down there that the cat might, you know, get sick. Uh, but anyway, what are you going to do? But look how big this plant is. This is also one that is such a fast grower. It's always putting out new leaves like right here. I just saw one right here that's about to come out. Um, always growing, always thriving, just loves life. Another one though, keep it evenly moist. If you have a humidifier, even better. But in my experience with or without the humidifier, it seems to do just fine. Some of the edges get a little bit crispy. So if the leaves are getting a little crispy, I find it's either because of the water that I'm using, you know, this plant in my experience does like distilled or filtered water is a little bit of a diva. But if you don't have distilled or filtered water, the leaves will get a little crispy on the edges. But um, I've seen people just cut those off and then the leaf is perfectly fine. But other than that, keep it evenly moist. And it's just such a fast grower. Like even if you find a really small one, it's gonna take off very, very quickly. So don't feel like you have to get the biggest one right away. Uh, get a small one even, it will grow very quickly for you. Uh, so this is one of those plants too. If I see it, I'm like, let me see if that's a different variety. I did find the green one, a variegated one online from Cactus Club recently. I didn't buy it and I regret it so much because it's not on their website anymore. Someone must have bought it or they sold out. But I had it in my basket for like two weeks. I kept going back and forth, but I didn't get it and I absolutely regret it because this, pl this plant has my heart. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but that is it, three plants I'm a sucker for, and of course my collection of said plants. Let me know some plants you're a sucker for. I would love to know plants you have duplicates of. I do have a video coming soon on all the plants I have duplicates of, because I have way more than I thought of like identical varieties. Um, another video I have coming up soon, my plant hot takes and like unpopular opinions. Uh, so I'm just going to share my hot takes, my unpopular opinions. If you have a plant hot take or unpopular opinion, please let me know what it is because I would love to react to some of your guys' as well because I'm sure there are more people out there that think mounted plants are the ugliest things they've ever seen. That can't be just me. But anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions as always. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you later in another video. Oh, goodbye.